and good morning so I wanted to give a little bit closer look at this 65 that I have here uh, even though this grill looks like it's a, a 64 it's got the same characteristic 64 grill that's as narrow as the vents up top uh, it is registered as a 65 so I'm imagining it's an early 65 Anyway, uh, we rescued this from uh, its storage place because we had to get it out of there. And just wanted to uh, get a little bit closer look at this. It has been sitting there a while. This uh, roof was the biggest thing. And one of the reasons that I call this thing Rusto Roof. So <clears throat> it was parked underneath a tree and then uh, left there the leaves accumulated and it started to rot it out so I get up here so when I got it I put this uh, sealer on there it's like a, a household automotive sealer and that was just to slow down some of the, the water intrusion there's still a lot getting through, but uh, so chances are this thing is going to need a roof. Let me get this over there. Okay. So it's relatively unmolested. When I got it, there was an interior build, and I pulled that all out. They used uh, house wire for some of the stuff. But it did actually run. Uh, I had to uh, I had to uh, use one of these uh, portable ignition systems uh, to get some some spark to it. And you can see, looks like the the rats have been in here. So hopefully I didn't bring any with me. Bottom door's gone. The body's not that bad. Like I said it's relatively unmolested. Floor is in decent shape. There's one of those weights that uh, used to go in the back of these uh, six, uh, uh, go in the back of the 64s. That uh, weight is like a 90 pound, uh, like a cast iron weight that used to go between the bottom of the floor and the top of the gas tank. And you see those six holes in there. That would normally. You'd, you'd see some some holes in here that would have bolted up and so there would be like a pan head bolt six pan head bolts and if you disconnected it from underneath then it would drop out you have to drop out the tank they discontinued that in uh, 65 so that was only a one-year deal with that <clears throat> Doors are all right. Got some some rot through on the on the floor there. Stock six cylinder. Either a 194 or a 230. It's got the old Rochester B model carburetor on there. Like I said, this did run, uh, and uh, I don't know if that's a, some kind of aftermarket shroud or, or what. It's kind of strange in there. Anyway, uh, it did run. I drove to the gas tank, filled it up, got about uh, a third of the way through the, the fill, and it was starting to pour out the, the passenger side. So there's a, there's a hole in the passenger side of that tank. And yeah, you know, I got some rust on that roof, but that might have to go anyway. Well, that's the dash, unfortunately. So I hit right there. Bam! I don't know how easy that's going to get for you to pull out. And. Uh, 
characteristic hit right on the corner of that headlight and that is a crying shame because that is caused by these doors when they come all the way open and go bam like that oh my gosh that's a hard one to to fix especially on this corner right here and that is caused by the failure of the door stop check swing part of it's in there but you can see that piece broke off now we do have a fix for that and i can show you that on another video but uh this is all captured in there that there's no way to get back in there behind that so it's a real difficult fix uh, it's just too bad anyway this thing needs to be cleaned out and that's what we'll probably do so so that's it that is the 1965 rusto roof chevy panel van Hopefully coming soon to a, a restoration stop near you. Thanks for watching.